Justice Without Borders is a regional non-profit organization that serves migrant workers who have returned home after they face exploitations or abuses in their destination countries where they work. And um, what we do is we collaborate with migrant workers and lawyers and many other NGOs to help keep bad actors accountable and also um, help the migrant workers to obtain compensation. So I joined JWB about four years ago. I have always been very interested in social justice issues since I was in secondary school. So when I was in when I was 17 or 18, I wanted to study law because I wanted to help people. And a few years ago, I quit law because I wanted to help more people. Basically, what pulled me in at the beginning was this sense of disconnect. So uh, migrant domestic workers are very visible. They are in so many families in Hong Kong. Despite their physical presence um, and the crucial roles that they play in Hong Kong, they are often very in invisible as well in terms of their recognition and their protection. Um, their experience, their contribution or their challenges are often, very often, um, trivialized, generalized, ignored. When we talk about migrant workers in Hong Kong, the majority of them is um, the majority of them are migrant domestic workers. And in Hong Kong, they are mainly from the Philippines and Indonesia. I think they take up about 95% of the migrant domestic worker population in Hong Kong. And between them, it's 50-50 split. And about 5% of migrant domestic workers in Hong Kong come from Nepal, Pakistan, uh, India, and Thailand. When they recount their story, you get a little emotional together with them, but <laughs> I also know I shouldn't. Um, it's, it's more important for us to create that safe space for them to feel vulnerable and share their story. And at the same time, my job is also to look at all the evidence and document sets in front of me so that I don't have to ask as many questions because um, when we're doing the casework, helping them to file a claim, we also want to avoid re-traumatizing them, especially if they are a survivor of like abuse sexual abuse or physical abuse and I must say some of some sometimes the details are quite disturbing um, still very shocking it's it's quite difficult to imagine why some people would do certain things to their fellow human being we talk about uh, disability discrimination race discrimination but when we talk about the details of these cases, there are always a lot of individual differences. I get to see these workers as individual. Um, and to me, it's, it's very rewarding. We also have second pillar, which is education and awareness raising. Um, and the third one is the building of community. And these three pillars actually beautiful work with each other. The work that we do involves a lot of organization um, in Hong Kong, Singapore, Indonesia, Philippines. And we, are, we can't do all of this on our own. Every year we, we are supporting about 20 to 30 cases before we started to introduce the first labor tribunal case where the worker can participate in the hearing. Uh, remotely from their hometown. Before we started to do that, the success rate would be zero because it was impossible um, for migrant domestic workers to leave Hong Kong and still continue their case in Hong Kong. But now we have made something that was impossible to possible and the success rate is similar to any other workers or any other person in Hong Kong who would bring a case to the court. So better than chance, like 50-50. There were situations where we weren't able to, to get compensation for the workers and we felt bad about that and we didn't know how to deliver the news to the worker. And it did happen once that the worker was the one who had to console us and was like, 
don't worry, you tried your best and I was just really happy that you would listen to my story and didn't think I was lying. And to us, it was really, it, it was really a moment where we felt like, you know, everything that we have done was not for nothing. So I think every Hong Konger can try to educate themselves um, on the situation, the challenges faced by migrant domestic workers. And most importantly, start to see migrant worker as human, as employee, who is no different than any other employee in Hong Kong.